Hello everybody. I have prepared three popular uh, microscopes for you to make a little comparison uh, and incline it to the mobile phone repairing. So we need to check resolution, but by the way we can see uh, common uh, ergonomical uh, properties of those microscopes. microscopes. So, first microscope I've taken into consideration is Olympus SZ61TR model that has a trinocular, trinocular port and when this port is activated right channel is getting blind and all picture goes from right channel goes to the port while left channel is still open. <clears throat> I don't uh, I won't use left channel for our comparison so far because I need just to see base uh, information on the microscope. So let's just see how it works. <clears throat> so uh, uh, the working distance of this model without any auxiliary, auxiliary, auxiliary lenses is uh, 110 millimeters, pretty uh, huge amount of distance. But using auxiliary lenses, you can auxiliary lenses, you can have as uh, lower distances with higher resolution, uh, as uh, higher distances with lower resolution. But we won't check it on, in, in our case. But in our case, we need just to see. What is the distance between the plane of the object and eyepiece without any lenses? So for our Olympus SD61, it is kind of 32 millimeters. Let me make a photo of that. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's see. Uh, a field size with uh, lower and highest magnifications. So, I have a little ruler here. I have prepared uh, uh, Apple's A13 processor and I have prepared my favorite Intel i386 processor here. So, we'll use them to see resolution. And, by the way, I brought a piece of motherboard of my Bay Phone 7S or something like that. We'll use it for evaluation too. So, let's see the field of view of our Olympus with the lowest magnification. We have 34 millimeters, uh, even even a bit more, I could say, even 35 millimeters of field size. So now let's make little magnification and see the size. At maximum zoom, it looks like it has, let me count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, kind of 9 millimeters might be, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes, we have 9 millimeters field of view with maximum magnification here. Uh, to see how this thing works with a processor, I would need to change eyepiece with my 30 times Olympus eyepiece. Only then I can reach the, the maximum resolution uh, of optics to see how it really shows us picture. But for a while Let's just see the field of view of you on uh, iPhone's 7S might be motherboard. And we can easily see here that we have pretty nice field of view. <coughs> I need to get focused because this motherboard has some size, has some depth. And if you <coughs> look attentively enough, 
you might have noticed that we have sharp focus only in the center, on the left and on the right uh, parts of the field we have obvious defocusing. It's a result of that we are using green system, so only some center part of the frame has sharp focus, while edges left and right should be unfocused. unfocused. So it might be not that convenient for you to make a, a lot of work and sit in for a long time. But if you are paying iPhone, mobile phones, might be not that bad for you, especially when you're young. Okay, so we just have seen field with a iPhone's motherboard. Now let's switch IPs and get to re maximum resolution, taking as a sample some part of a sitting processor. Let me change IPs. So IPs has been changed. So let's try to look at the resolution of this very nice high contrast microscope of Olympus. Uh -huh. Technically, a field of view is not real now because we have we are using eyepieces with high magnification. So don't uh, take a field of view as some value, some real value. We just need to see how resolution works. So, here's our processor and let's zoom in. If you look at it attentively, you might have been noticed that again left and right parts of the frame have a fuzzy image while center is pretty sharp. So here is a part of our processor. I don't know why I should, 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 whether should I move a bit around it. Okay, let me move a bit around it. So, as for me, we have a very nice picture, pretty sharp. <clears throat> so, I don't, wa don't know why should you replace this microscope with any other one. But, let's check last thing we have. Let's check my I386 Intel processor. We can just see some structure here. So it's my usual suspect. The structure is made by a bus of conductors. So using it, we can see a real quality of channel, amount of chromatic aberration and real resolution. And if you look at the center square, you might notice something like striped structure. But to be frank, its structure is not seen at all clearly, just kind of tint of a structure. Okay, so we've checked our Olympus SD61. Now let's switch to our next one very cool Olympus SDX12 microscope with trinocular head and with very nice uh, DF Plapo Plan Apo objective that I tuned a bit because it had very bad quality. So let me change microscope. So we have got our Olympus on a stand. Now let us look around how it looks like. Uh, I have not 
I haven't got its original focuser, so I just stand putting it on, on the collar. Not properly, but it won't uh, distract us from getting proper results. So, let's firstly see the working distance between a plane of, of objects and eyepieces. In our case, we have 35 centimeters. I'm not connecting a rule to the center of object. I'm connecting it kind 10 centimeters ahead of the center plane. So technically we have 35 centimeters, not that by distance, just a bit higher than from uh, our Olympus SG61. <coughs> and in our case, we have a trinocular head that has some controlling lever when we pull it we are making a kind of 30% of all picture is going to the port here while uh, no no not 70% goes to the port and 30% are left for right pieces so when we switch port Nothing changes except the brightness. Picture is left on both channels. <coughs> so let's now measure the size of field here. Oh, not that easy to get the size of field. Okay, let's put eyepieces, phone of eyepieces. So with a lower zoom our field of view is kind of 33 34 millimeters just nice field of view 